Fort Totten, situated in the Bayside neighborhood of Queens, New York, is a significant historical landmark with a rich and captivating history. From its construction in the 1860s to its transformation into a public park, the fort has played a vital role in the defense of New York City. Let us explore the chronological narrative of Fort Totten, delving into its construction, its purpose during the Civil War, its involvement in World War I and World War II, and its subsequent transformation. The construction of Fort Totten began in 1862 during the American Civil War. The fort was designed as part of a comprehensive system of coastal defenses to protect New York Harbor from potential Confederate attacks. Named after General Joseph Gilbert Totten, a renowned military engineer, the fort was strategically situated on the northeastern shore of Queens, providing a commanding position overlooking the East River and the Long Island Sound. The construction involved a combination of skilled labor, including a workforce of approximately 400 individuals, consisting of Irish immigrants and prisoners of war. These workers toiled diligently to bring the fort to life, employing the latest military engineering techniques of the time. The architectural design showcased the technological advancements and defensive strategies of the era. The fort featured a series of large masonry forts interconnected by earthworks, which were essentially mounds of soil and vegetation. These earthworks provided additional protection by absorbing enemy fire and reducing the impact of artillery bombardment. The construction of the fort involved the excavation of large trenches and the creation of defensive emplacements for cannons. The cannons were mounted on platforms and protected by sturdy walls, allowing for effective defense against potential enemy vessels. The fort also boasted a deep moat surrounding its perimeter, adding an extra layer of defense and acting as a deterrent against ground attacks. Named after General Joseph Gilbert Totten, an esteemed military engineer, the fort was strategically positioned on the northeastern shore of Queens, offering commanding views over the East River and the Long Island Sound. During the Civil War, Fort Totten played a significant role in the defense of New York City and the surrounding region. While Fort Totten did not see direct combat during the Civil War, it served as an essential training center for Union soldiers. The fort's proximity to New York City made it an ideal location for training and organizing troops. Soldiers stationed at Fort Totten underwent rigorous training in drill exercises, artillery firing, and military maneuvers to prepare them for the challenges of war. In addition to training, Fort Totten functioned as an arsenal and logistical hub for the Union Army. The fort provided storage facilities for weapons, ammunition, and supplies necessary for the war effort. Its secure location ensured the safekeeping of these vital resources, ready to be deployed when needed. Fort Totten housed a diverse array of soldiers from various states, including New York, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. These soldiers formed regiments that were deployed to other theaters of the war, reinforcing the Union Army's ranks and contributing to the overall defense of the nation. The fort was the target of a Confederate plot known as the New York City Draft Riots in 1864. The plan involved infiltrating the city to carry out acts of sabotage, including targeting the fort. However, due to effective intelligence work and counterintelligence measures, the plot was discovered and thwarted, preventing any harm to Fort Totten. The fort's strategic location on the shores of Queens allowed it to provide a critical layer of coastal defense for New York City. Its large masonry forts, interconnected by earthworks and protected by a deep moat, were designed to repel potential enemy attacks from both land and sea. Fort Totten's presence and readiness to defend against Confederate aggression helped secure New York City and its vital harbor during the Civil War. The fort's role in training troops and providing logistical support contributed to the overall strength and preparedness of the Union Army. During World War I, as tensions escalated in Europe, Fort Totten became a mobilization and training center for the United States military. The fort's spacious grounds and existing infrastructure made it an ideal location for preparing troops for war. Soldiers underwent intensive training in military tactics, marksmanship, and other essential skills necessary for combat. The fort's extensive artillery facilities played a crucial role during World War I. The fort was equipped with large-caliber cannons, 
including 12 inch Rodman guns, which were used for training purposes. Soldiers received instruction in artillery operations and practiced firing these weapons to enhance their proficiency in support of the war effort. With its strategic location on the shores of Queens overlooking the East River and the Long Island Sound, Fort Totten continued to serve as a coastal defense installation. The fort's cannons and defensive structures were maintained and manned to guard against potential enemy naval threats. As German submarines threatened Allied shipping along the Atlantic coast, Fort Totten played a role in implementing anti-submarine measures. The fort's location allowed for enhanced surveillance and detection capabilities to identify and track submarine activity in the surrounding waters. This information was crucial for safeguarding shipping lanes and protecting vital supply lines. In addition to training army troops, it also trained Navy personnel. The fort served as a training center for naval recruits, instructing them in various aspects of naval operations, including seamanship, gunnery, and submarine detection. Beyond training and defense, Fort Totten provided support services to the military during. The fort served as a supply depot and logistics hub, facilitating the storage and distribution of equipment, munitions, and supplies needed for military operations. Fort Totten had medical facilities to care for injured soldiers. These facilities included a hospital and other medical resources, ensuring that wounded personnel received proper treatment and care. The local community played an active role in supporting Fort Totten during World War. Civilians volunteered their time and resources to assist with various tasks, such as providing supplies, offering support services, and participating in war-related activities. During World War II, as a coastal defense installation and headquarters for the 1st Coast Artillery District, the fort was responsible for coordinating the defense of New York Harbor. It served as a training center for military personnel, conducting drills and providing instruction in artillery operations, coastal defense tactics, radar operation, and anti-aircraft warfare. Fort Totten's anti-aircraft guns and radar systems were vital in protecting New York City from aerial attacks, while its intelligence and counterintelligence operations helped gather information and safeguard military secrets. Additionally, the fort served as a logistical hub and support base, providing storage facilities and support services to sustain military operations. The involvement of Fort Totten in civil defense efforts further reinforced its significance during World War II. Fort Totten gradually became abandoned following the end of World War II. With advancements in military technology and changing defense strategies, the need for coastal defense fortifications like Fort Totten diminished. As a result, the fort's role as an active military installation dwindled, and it was eventually decommissioned. In the years following its decommissioning, the property of Fort Totten was transferred to various entities. The U.S. Army transferred portions of the fort to the city of New York in the 1970s, while some sections were transferred to the National Park Service and the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. Today, Fort Totten has undergone a transformation and has been repurposed for various uses. The site now serves as a public park and recreation center. It features open green spaces, hiking trails, sports fields, and facilities for community activities. Many of the fort's historic buildings have been repurposed for community use, including educational institutions, cultural organizations, and recreational facilities. The fort structures, such as the barracks, officer quarters, and casemates, still stand, offering a glimpse into its rich military history. The preserved remnants of the fort serve as a reminder of its significance in defending New York City during times of conflict. It continues to be an important historical site and a popular destination for visitors interested in exploring its military heritage and enjoying the park's recreational offerings. If you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. See you next time for more Ghost Town Chronicles.